Hey there folks, how's everything going? So you've probably heard about AI generated voices, and well, the thing is, um, it's not exactly a human voice, you know? So please forgive me if I stumble on some words and grammar here and there, but hey, no worries, right? Let's dive right in. Today, I want to demonstrate how to create a new volume on HPE storage, specifically the MSA 2050 in my case, and connect it to your ESXi host. In this scenario, I have a DL360 Gen 10 server directly connected to the HP MSA 2050. I had previously set up the initiators between the storage and the server upon logging into your MSA storage interface. Navigate to the left panel and click on Volumes, then select the Action option and choose Create Virtual Volume. You'll need to provide a name for your volume. Specify its size in GD or DB and determine the number of volumes you want to create. I will discuss preferences in upcoming videos. Once you've successfully created and configured your virtual volume, it's time to map it to your ESXi server. Since we're dealing with a single physical server directly connected to the storage in this case, we have two initiators for one server. Keep in mind that this configuration might differ in scenarios involving multiple servers. Select the volumes you've created and map them to your server. Moving on, log into your ESXi server. Head to the left panel and navigate to Storages. Then, access the Device Us tab and perform a re-scan of Device Us to ensure you have the latest updates. After the rescan, the new storage will appear. You can also cross reference the serial number of the storage unit from the MSA web app with the storage unit in ESXi to ensure a match. Finally, you're ready to create a new data store with an ESXi. This will allow you to create virtual machines on it, migrate existing VMs, and more.
I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for your support, everyone.